Knock, knock, who's there? Hello everyone, today I will be reacting to Sunmi La La Lai. I'm super excited guys, I've been waiting for this for a long time and it's out today, so what? Okay, let's get to it. Interesting music video, as always. Wow! I think she likes the far away reverb, the 50s reverb. Oh my god! I like the keys. So, so 80s. The kick with the bass are like very modern while the rest of the synth and the brass synth and the instruments are very 80s. Oh wow! Now this is very modern. So it's la la Damn that dance. The treatment of the vocals or, or I think the range that they're singing in is something that she never sang in before. She's doing a lot of twang in her voice. She usually has like a very neutral, airy voice. What? A pause. As, as always, I like how she's confident with the fashion she wears. What? This reminds me of BTS, the setting. I like that the brass, or I think this is like a, like it's a tenor or soprano saxophone. Oh, okay. It's the same keys used in TLC. Now the beat changed. And the brass now is bigger. So yeah. It's 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 modern, but like it's a combination of what she used in heroin, the big drum and everything being bigger. Wow, the switch and the beat here. So the kick changed from a big kick that's remind like, like from heroin era to like a very concentrated kick. And like very modern. Wow. It's um what can I say? It's a combination of all her songs in a good way. It's a combination of all... Like, you wouldn't notice it if you're like not into audio or not into producing. You wouldn't notice... You would think, oh, it's a really cool new song, new style. But no, she's actually like mixing between her old style, which was leaning into 80s synth and, and keys and even vocal treatment and reverb. She used like a lot of cool... Uh, spring reverbs that were very cool back then uh, and she also mixed the um, she mixed also the big drums and the and the and the what, what do you call it dramatic feel of beat production but not on the vocals though except in the bridge so that's what I noticed she's um, I think she knows what she's doing music videos to be honest is similar to her last two but that's her style so I have nothing to say about that I'm not a video director or any or anything but what I can say 
is that um, I like the person who made the beat knows very well how to keep you attracted to the song from the beginning to end from beginning to end everything changed like the beginning you have a bass with a kick that is super modern along with production keys uh, of keys and instruments and even vocal treatment that is kind of oldies and then the treatment of the vocals change and the and the sounds change except uh, even in the chorus and the beat is very modern like the chorus itself is super modern and super like hip you can say but it's not mainstream it's not k-pop and then uh i like how in the beginning of the of the bridge or like the beginning of the part after the bridge i don't know if they're all the same part as a bridge um the, the kick is big everything is big it's like to engage you to wake you up like oh we're not gonna be the same and then it changed it up to like almost hip-hop and then back to the main chorus and that is so cool like the beat and the, the quality of the kick the quality of the of the snare of everything is captivating but the other instruments didn't change much except for the keys sometimes i like the introduction of the brass the the large fat brass section and and part of the bridge and then it's gone and it's back to the saxophone again it's amazing the the ideas being built into the song are genius Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more cool reactions. And if you don't like this video, give it a thumbs down and subscribe to see more shitty reactions. You are still subscribing. Let me know in the comments below what songs you want me to react to. And I will see you next week. Bye!